Hello, this is Eugene Chung, and um, today I'm going to show you how to prepare your Blender models from uh, well the Blender 3D program uh, for your MakerBot Replicator uh, 3D printer. The Replicator prints um, from an ABS um, uh, filament tube, and the materials um, in various colors. I've, I've got white, I've got green, black, and so on and so forth. Um, my version has the two nozzle one, and this model here um, I've created for a game, and it's the Put Put Monster. Um, the name I name it Put Put because it gives out the sound in the game Put 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 for whatever reason. So this model has to be prepared uh, for printing. Um, one of the problems in in three D printing is that you know the base cannot be small and the base cannot be roundish. Otherwise, when you print, you have a failure. So, as you can see in the video... Look, um, this is an earlier print, and because the base is too small, and you know it's not properly heated, so halfway through, it started moving the, the, the preparation base. Because MakerBot uh, puts on a, a thin layer um, for the model to sit, to sit on. So that's a failure, um, and I've printed much bigger one, and because the printer isn't configured properly, so halfway through, the 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 side one of the sides came off, and the nozzle just basically push it, and it and it, so it's um it's it's a failure. So that's this is one of the the base that it creates um, for. So what, however your base looks in the three D model, it will print sort of a. A preparation base foundation first. Now if you look here, because I put I put it as twenty percent fit in fill, so it's filling it with some gap holes. But if it's a hundred percent, you won't see this very nice pattern here. Okay, so make sure you prepare your model properly. Um, uh, this was a, a failure uh, as I print it. So the model requires actually uh, a proper base um, for it to. To print properly, um, if the base is too big and thin, then if it dries too quickly, then it, it's also a failure. Uh, right. Um, once you've got your model prepared, um, you can uh, look. Um, you know the uh, I removed the skeleton, the armature, so that it prints out nicely. Um, and the the model actually needs to be smoothened because. If you don't smoothen it, you get flat surfaces, and when you print it, you know some the the surface is going to be sort of a made up of flat um, uh, uh, well, uh, sides. So the first thing you have to do is to add a multi rest to it, and you're going to just subdivide twice so the model appears to be quite smooth. And when it prints, it's fine. Now the base, I'm going to just prepare it slightly, um, making it smaller at the top. And then pulling it up, make sure it's uh, touching and and it's all connected. And the two uh, pieces should be joined together. So I've applied the Boolean modify in Blender, and make sure you select both object and uh, one of the objects. And now it's done. Okay. Um, uh, the next step will be to apply. Actually, okay. Once it's applied, it becomes one piece and as, as you export that it's going to be um, just a single piece for replicator G uh, to prepare your model for the 3D printer so I'm exporting it um, to an STL file which replicator G could import uh, now you have to get the replicator G software from this website Okay, replicate.org. Um, it's a lowering barrier to 3D printing. Um, download the file, install it. It's pretty simple. Just follow instructions, and you'll be quite ready to print uh, the your your model. So that's the file. So um, earlier I've, I've actually imported the the model. So all you've got to do is just open the putput.stl file bring it in and um, it comes in usually a little bit smaller than this so you have to do some scaling 
and perhaps also positioning okay so you can go to the scale blow it up twice the size um, or print a little bit smaller the the printing later will be smaller so it's going to be just size one which is the ready model now the base has to be touching the plate um, so you have to go to the move and make sure you put the model on the platform and after that you'll be ready to, to print it there are a few more steps um, you have to make sure it's connected okay to your printer um, and you have to generate the G code so that it, it um it gives the instruction to the printer you know where to move the head so and so forth and there are various parameters here you can set um, one of the object fill in fill um, it's set at 20 percent perhaps um, you can add that later to make it feel you know that if you have it a hundred percent you can actually fill it up um, make sure your printer is connected with the right port and now you're generating the G code. It takes a little bit of while to generate the code because it's reading the model, making you know, setting up instructions and so on and so forth. So it's just a quick wait. Let's see. Be building up the layers, generating stuff that will be useful for the printer. Okay. Not long now. It's making progress. Mhm. Mm Just hang on. It's almost done. Okay. And it's done. So the file it's um generated from the the models like directory and the other thing you have to do is just to export that into an S3G file. Um the S3G file is prepared for SD card printing so wherever it's generated it, make sure you save it to your SD card okay um, my SD card is actually in my 3D printer so I've just saved it in the folder so now it's completed and we're almost ready for printing